Welcome back to my channel please like video share and subscribe channel. The Porsche Macan is a hot seller and a bastion of hope for a Porsche, as nearly 80% of Macan customers are new to the brand and likely to stick around and buy something else from Porsche in the future. To keep that kind of success and gateway to its pricier models going, the German automaker has repackaged its hot little compact luxury SUV into something all new and all electric with the 2024 Porsche Macan EV. It grows a little bit over the standard gas model, but its performance gains and technology overhaul should propel it far into a successful future, and more expensive price point, as the all-new Macan 4 and Turbo EVs. The Macan EV launches with the lower standard performance model dubbed the Macan 4 as well as a high performance variant dubbed the Macan Turbo. All Macan EVs should come with AC charging ports on both sides of the vehicle for convenience, with the DC port limited to just one side depending on market. The new turbinite style grey badging Porsche previously announced is offered as an exclusive option for turbo trim models. There will only be one body style, but designers decided to incorporate coupe aesthetics into the profile and details of the new Macan design. It also goes for the increasingly popular trend of separating the main headlight unit lower from the daytime running lights, which get the quad pattern Porsche signature similar to the Taycan EV. There will be 20 to 22 inch wheels across two available powertrains including a 22-inch lightweight forged wheel option and specific off-road wheel options. For less than two grand, you can paint two of the wheel options to match the bodywork, if you're nasty. The EV is bigger than the current gas-powered Macan Compact Luxury SUV but is still be classified as compact, with a stretched wheelbase. Now 113.8 inches versus the standard Macan's 110 inches. As a benefit of the all-electric shared PPE vehicle platform the Macan EV is based on the EV is also about 2 inches longer now overall. The more powerful of the two launch Macan trims, the Turbo, is good for a max output of 630 horsepower and up to 833 pounds to feet of torque in launch control mode with overboost functionality the car regularly produces 576 horsepower when not in the limited overboost function. Power comes from two updated permanently excited synchronous motor PSM, units, one linked to the front and one linked to the rear wheels offering all-wheel drive and to work vectoring and powered through a two-stage single-speed transmission. The Macan Turbo EV gets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds with a top speed of 161 miles per hour. The Macan 4 is good for 382 horsepower, or a max overboost output of 402 horsepower and 479 pounds to feet of to work through all four wheels with a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.9 seconds and a top speed of 146 miles per hour. The Macan EV is said to have a 0.25 drag coefficient, making it one of the more slippery SUVs out there. The Tesla Model Y is reportedly 0.23. It also has a max towing capacity of 4,409 pounds for both trims. The roof can hold up to 165 pounds with the rack setup, and the Macan F sports a max weighting depth of 13.3 inches, a normal ground clearance of 7.2 inches, and a raised clearance of 8.8 .8 inches. That available 100 kilowatt hours, 96 kilowatt hours of which is said to be usable, battery pack is said to be good for an estimated 500 kilometers or roughly 310 miles of range on a full charge, though that's not an EPA figure yet, and likely only reflects the Macan 4 launch model and not the turbo. In a real-world test of a prototype, Motor Trend estimated the Macan EV could get up to 290 miles on a charge. In this future, it's possible that Porsche plans to offer an even lower entry-level EV trim which could come with rear-wheel drive as well as an even higher performance, Turbo S, model further down the line after launch. 
The new McAnevrides on the PPE chassis architecture shared with Audi Porsche claims it will be able to manufacture pure electric McAns alongside gas models and other model line production at its Leipzig, Germany factory. A double wishbone axle suspension setup supports the front and is configured around the front motor drive unit, with a multi-link axle at the rear. A coil spring suspension setup is offered from the factory in some markets, which is available with an available Porsche Active Suspension Management PASM, upgrade that features new two-valve shock absorbers with greater damper characteristic spread and more tuning fidelity for the driver between sport and comfort settings. However, at launch, all U.S. McAnevs will get air suspension setups. The PASM system is also available with the McAnevs air suspension setup with the same trick damper adjustment, though these models can also raise or lower the body for easier entry or at high speeds for improved aerodynamics, from minus 30 mm to plus 40 mm from base height. The suspension settings should offer normal, sport, sport plus and off-road modes. The new McAnev will use an 800 volt system, now with a charging capacity of up to 270 kilowatts to shoot from 10 to 80 percent state of charge for the battery in less than 22 minutes. Any 400 volt charging kiosks will also be able to enable bank charging of the battery pack, which essentially splits the 800 volt battery into two separate units, which are then aligned each with a nominal 400 volts, that can be charged in parallel at up to 150 kilowatts through a single cord. A new so-called integrated power box, IPB, joins the separate onboard 11 kilowatt AC charger, the 6 kilowatt high voltage heater, and the DC, DC converter components into a single lighter unit that shaves off more than 6 pounds of weight. The new McAnev marks the second of four announced all-electric Porsches that are in the works or already available. That includes the Take Canev sedan and shooting brake models, as well as upcoming E718 coupe and potential Roadster sports cars, and a new electric SUV that's said to be big enough for three rows of seating to slot above the current and any future guy and SUV models, gas or electric. The Taycanev is assembled in Sofen Haas, Germany, while the gas and hybrid Panamera, gas and electric Macan, and future electric three-row SUV will all be assembled in Leipzig, Germany. The Macan 4F starts at $80,450 and the Turbo Web starts at $106,950, with deliveries expected to begin in the second half of the year. Thanks for watching video.